Hey everybody, how's it going? Steve here with a quick update on Pokemon Sword and Shield. Before we continue, however, I have to warn you, if you wish to remain completely spoiler free on the games, I would recommend clicking out of this video now, although the spoilers I'm including are incredibly minor and something you wouldn't catch unless you watched this video. So with that in mind, let's jump right in. A Twitter user by the name of Gaijin Hunter found some interesting hidden meanings in the jersey numbers for each Pokemon gym leader across both Sword and Shield. If you haven't yet played the games, gym battles take place in stadium-like environments and at the very beginning, you get to choose your own jersey number. However, each gym leader has a jersey number of their own and with a little bit of investigation, Gaijin Hunter found that there were hidden meanings behind every gym leader's jersey number. Initially, I was skeptical of this, but it took some research on my own, and it turns out that these jersey numbers relate to old-timey Japanese pager messaging. Now, if you're unfamiliar with pagers and how they worked, uh, pagers can only display numbers, so they can't display letters at all, and creative teenagers got into the habit of using certain numbers to mean certain things. Similar to how we did in America, like if you've ever spelled words on your calculator by turning it upside down, although the Japanese equivalent of this is a bit more complicated, and a little harder to parse, especially if you're not familiar with the language. So I'll go ahead and break just a couple of them down and I'll link to the tweet where all of them are listed in the description below. Starting off with my favorite gym leader so far, Nessa, her jersey number is 049. And if you translate that into Japanese pager code, it would spell out Oyogu, and Oyogu means to swim. So obviously that's a very clear reference to a water-based activity. Skipping next over to fire, you've got 187, which obviously means something very different in Japan than it does to Western audiences. And if you translate that out, it's hi ba na, which is spark. And obviously a spark can lead to flame. Uh, so there's, there's definitely some evidence here uh, to support this theory. And the final example I'm going to give is for Alistair, that creepy ghost type gym leader. And his is 291, which if you spell that out in Japanese is ni ku -i or ni ku -i, which means to detest or to hate. And obviously detestment, hatred, grudges. Some people say that that ties the souls of the dead to the world of the living. So to me, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, the rest of the list, like I said, is in the description below. But it's a really cool nod that Game Freak included just these little messages to people who were eagle-eyed enough to spot them. Again, major thanks to Gaijin Hunter for finding this. There's a link to his Twitter down below. He also has a YouTube channel, which we'll link to in the description as well. Let me know, what do you think of these strange little pager messages? Does it add a layer of dimension to each of these characters since they obviously, you know, picked these numbers that kind of outline their Pokemon fighting style. Go ahead and drop us a comment below and let us know what your favorite pager code jersey number is. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Game Explained for much more on Pokemon Sword and Shield and all other things gaming as well. Ring that notification bell to be the first to know every time we upload a new video, and I'll see you next time.